Today we'll be discussing on the different types of security mechanisms to help protect databases. There are two primary ways to encrypt database content, either through the database encryption itself or through the file level encryption. Databases have encryption capability by default using a well-known encryption method called transparent data encryption. It is usually bonded with the database and allows encryption of data at rest. Furthermore, the encryption occurs immediately during input and decryption on output, therefore providing greater security defense against unauthorized access. For example, a hacker gained access into the database system and he is going to query the employee table. If there are no security mechanism in place, he would be able to see all the information in the employee table, including credit card number, salary, password, and the likes. Databases are the best place for hackers to access into because the data are highly structured and organized. Furthermore, sending a SQL query is extremely simple and straightforward, making the attack much quicker. One technique is to mask the information. For example, the hacker assessing the information of the credit card will see the credit card section is populated properly. But the reality is that the information has been substituted by the system. At the same time, the same masking is performed on the password column of the table. This allows the information to appear as normal, but in reality, it is worthless data and it looks valuable. Another form of database security is redaction. Redaction hides certain area of the table column. In this example, the hacker can see only the first four digits and the last four digits of the credit card number, also making the column practically worthless. At the same time, the password is also being redacted to show only asterisk, again, removing the ability for the hacker to see any valuable information. Another very important technique in database security is encryption. If a hacker enters into the database, he would not be able to see any form of information at all because it requires a key to decrypt the information into human readable content. And encryption by itself is a huge security domain in the field of cybersecurity. And there are many challenges with securing databases using database security mechanisms. Many enterprises support older database versions that do not include TDE functionality for database protection. It can be difficult or impossible to migrate these older database versions to more recent versions offering TDE database encryption, given the constraints of the package application the database supports. There is also a huge lack of database experts in the market who not only have depth in a single database type, they need to have breadth with all flavors of databases. There is SQL Server, NoSQL, MariaDB, MongoDB, DB2 and so many are the types of databases that needs to be supported in order to ensure consistent security settings. With database encryption comes the need to manage the encryption keys. This introduces another huge headache because there can be multiple types of databases with many different instances in which each have a key or multiple keys involved in order to secure those databases. If the key falls into the wrong hands or is mismanaged, a lot of very sensitive information can be gone forever. Database encryption also introduces performance issue because encrypting and decrypting data can cause high CPU usage. This is crucial to database performances for transactional systems. There are many other types of data surrounding structured database data. There are backups and archive files residing in the database server, and there are very little protection mechanism available to secure these important files. Looking at so many challenges faced by the security systems in a database service, we need to look elsewhere. File system level encryption, often called file or folder encryption, is a form of disk encryption where individual files or directories are encrypted by the file system itself. This is in contrast to full disk encryption where the entire partition or disk in which the file system resides is encrypted. Block-based level encryption from the file system level ensures greater and covers a wider security posture. 
We can not only encrypt the directory of the database residing in, we can encrypt other sensitive information like Word document, PDF files, and the likes which are associated with the database. At the same time, a file system level encryption is agnostic to the type of databases you're using. The encryption occurs at a file system level and can protect all types of databases, whether it's CouchDB, IBM DB2, NoSQL, MariaDB, or even Microsoft SQL Server. The fact that cryptographic keys are only held in memory while the file is decrypted by them is held open means there is minimal key management for security purpose. This reduces the amount of effort required to secure the databases. By using file system level encryption, it doesn't matter what new type of databases are being installed into the appliance. It will work out of the box because the file system level encryption encrypts on block base level. To summarize today's discussion on database security and file system level encryption, we can first look at database security. We introduce and relearn the different kind of techniques that are being used in database security, like masking, redaction, and encryption. At the same time, we also look at the alternative to database security, which is file system level encryption. We know that a file system level encryption is heterogeneous to whatever databases is residing in the server. At the same time, the file system level encryption allow us to encrypt both structured and unstructured data.